Hi guys, so today is Sunday here in marvelous Paris. I've actually haven't had time to go out to be in Paris. I mean, I've been here in my neighborhood and I thought to myself, Nicole, why haven't you gone out and be a tourist in your now city, I can say, and now I'm a citizen of Paris. <laughs> I'm going to a neighborhood called Montmartre and just going to discover it, walk around, and see what I can find. Let's go. And then there was light. Ah. On to the metro. So I made it out of the metro, it was kind of stuffy and there were a lot of people inside so I couldn't record there. But Montmartre is known for having a lot of steep streets and a lot of stairs. I'm out of breath because of that, because I'm walking through a steep little road. I am heading to a very famous place here, it's called the Wall of Love. I won't talk about it because I want you guys to see it. I made it to the Wall of Love. So this is a very famous landmark here in Montmartre. It's composed of 612 tiles, and the word I love you is written 318 times in 250 languages. I mean, I could only find the word I love you in Spanish and in French. It's a pretty great wall, and actually a lot of people right now for a Sunday. I mean, kind of a day to be a tourist. So the Wall of Love is kind of in the middle of a park here in Montmartre. And outside, there's actually Sunday market, like a artesian market. They're selling a lot of paintings, vintage clothes. So I think that's something that they really do here because Montmartre is actually known for being a very artistic neighborhood. For all my Gossip Girl fans, this is the Hotel Bass, Chuck Bass. I mean, come on. <laughs> So I'm just walking around the neighborhood and I can't even begin to tell you how in love I am with it. It is so pretty and picturesque. There's the restaurants and the nature, the trees. It's just so, so pretty. Now that I'm done complimenting this neighborhood, it's known for having a lot of artists live here during the 1800s like Picasso and Van Gogh. I am actually going to the apartment where Van Gogh and his brother used to live. So it's that apartment over there with the blue doors and there's actually a little sign that says that Van Gogh used to live there with his brother. But just imagine all the history and if all the walls were just painted and all of his all of his ideas that were just coming to him when he was living in this apartment and what paintings he did. There you go. And I found the Moulin Rouge. <laughs> Kind of like this leaning tower pizza. I'll be eating sideways. <laughs> oh my god, guys, this is the first sighting of the Tour Eiffel, the Eiffel Tower. So now that the vlog saw the Eiffel Tower, does it mean that you guys feel like I was embarrassed? <laughs> I finally found the stop for the little train that takes you around the neighborhood. So I wanted to go on this train just because it's a little guided tour. It's around 40 minutes and the price for adults I think is just $6.50. And it just takes you around. There's an audio tour in English and in French just so you can know about the streets that you're walking through. I actually think that you have to make reservations beforehand so I don't think there's a point of me waiting. Guys, I don't know how I did it, but I got on to a train that's gonna take me around Montmartre. <laughs> so obviously this is not the same one. It's called, wait a second. I hope you saw that. It's called Montmartre, huh? and it's only six euros, so it's actually 50 euros cheaper than the other one, and it's about 35 minutes, and I'm just chilling, cruising here, taking in the views and resting my feet finally. And then after this, I will see Sacre Coeur. Yes. 
So it was a great little train ride, and I did it. I found it. I don't know how, but thanks to this train, they got me up to Sacre Coeur, so I didn't have to walk those stairs, which I think I actually kind of walked, but it was just a steep hill. But anyway, let's think that we didn't, because yeah, 300 stairs. That's what you have to climb, so you can see this amazing view. There's also kind of a kind of an elevator, electrical stairs that you can take and I think you just have to pay five or six euros just like the train. So you decide. I mean the view here is pretty breathtaking. On one hand you have the Sacre Coeur and then on the other hand you have this amazing view of Paris. So wherever you are, you'll just be amazed. I mean, I am. The Basilica is just humongous and it's so pretty inside. I didn't go inside this time because I've been there before. Plus there's a really long line and I'm kind of over it. Guys, so I am finishing my Sunday here in the Montmartre neighborhood by doing something that I've been wanting to do. <laughs> so I'm going to ride a carousel. I've always wanted to ride the one that's by the Eiffel Tower. It's been my dream. I know it's something so simple, but that it would feel magical. I don't know why. So they have a carousel here. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna go on it. Like the 25 year old girl that I am. Guys, I made it into the carousel. It was only three euros. <laughs> oh my god, of course I'm gonna ride this pink one. Ah, okay. Oh my god, no. No, it feels wobbly. No thanks. I don't wanna die here. That'd be too lame, right? Oh god. <gasps> I did it! It's over. <laughs> so guys, just like this carousel ride, this video is officially over. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Sunday here with me in Montmartre in Paris. I fell in love completely with this neighborhood. I would honestly think that it's the heart of Paris because there's so much happening, so much art, so many people. I was amazed by the people. First Sunday, I know that I said that Sundays were kind of cool and laid back. Yeah, probably in my neighborhood, but obviously not in these touristy places. You'll see more of these videos, so just be sure to subscribe, comment, like, all the things that I hope that you always do. Thank you so much for watching, and I guess I'll see you guys soon. Bye!